the Robinson Nature Center is nestled on 18 acres of land filled with forests, meadows, river valleys to explore, and much more. Jalen and I are fortunate to be getting a sneak peek of what the center has to offer. I'll go talk to Miss Yankee. And I will go talk to Mr. Oman. Let's go check it out. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Oman. Hey, Jalen, how are you? Wow, this is truly amazing. Where did the funding come from to build this nature center? Well, for the Robinson Nature Center, it was a number of different sources, but most of the funding uh, came from the citizens of Howard County through our local budget. We also got, uh, the land was pretty much donated by the Robinson family, um, who sold the land to the county at a deeply discounted price and then donated the $2 million uh, back to the county and created a foundation to help with programming here. We also got some grants from the state of Maryland as well. What is the purpose of the center? Well, the purpose is, uh, there are a number of purposes, but the for first and foremost is to uh, educate all the citizens of Howard County, especially the kids of Howard County, about the importance of environmental sustainability. And we thought the best way to do this would be to have a fabulous nature center, which excited people. And so the interior exhibits are truly amazing. And also it's a demonstration of what you can do with a site uh, to make it as environmentally friendly as possible. Is this a green technology building? This is definitely a green building. In fact, there are many levels of green buildings. The highest level is LEED Platinum, and there are only two other LEED Platinum buildings in the state of Maryland. This will be the third. And you get LEED uh, accreditation for a number of reasons. One is uh, you have features like the green roof, and we're standing right now on a green roof. And I know you're going to get a tour later, and you'll see that there is no runoff from this site. There's a lot of different rain gardens and bioswales around. We actually have uh, pervious pavement, so when it rains, the rain goes right down through the pavement and doesn't run off. Wow, this is a great building. Let's go inside and meet up with Kristen. All right, let's do it. Thank you. After you. Thanks. Hi, Miss Yankee, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Kristen. What types of programs will be offered here? Well, thanks for coming to the Nature Center today. We're going to be offering all kinds of programs to the public for all ages of people, kids through adults. But you know what? Wouldn't it be fun just to take you on a tour? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait up. Thanks, Mr. Roman. Have a nice day. Hi, I'm Jalen. Hi, Jalen. Nice to meet you. Do you want to join us on a tour of the Nature Center? Yeah, sure. I thought I heard something about a tour. All right. Come on this way. This is beautiful. Thank you. We have so many other places too in the Nature Center where there's lots of things that you can see. As we go down through this exhibit, we'll enter into the nocturnal forest where there's night sounds, a chorus area where you can move different sounds of the animals at night. And even then we can go into the nature sphere where it shows the stars at night and we can even show movies on a big full dome. Cool. There's a wildlife habitat area where you can see animals coming up to the bird feeders, classrooms, an auditorium, all kinds of things to see. There's so much to see inside. Are there exhibits outside as well? Oh yes. We have a trail system that walks you down by the river and brings you up by a, a garden area and a pavilion. When will the center open and where can residents go for more information? That's a good question, Kristen. You can go to the Howard County website and click on Robinson Nature Center because our grand opening is going to be September 10th at 9 a.m. Ms. Robinson's love for nature will help many people of all ages learn more about the environment. That's exactly right. Ms. Yankee, thank you so much for giving us a tour of the Robinson Nature Center.